and welcome to Dinky Detectives. My name's Helen and today's story is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. But there she is, ready to go. So if you are sitting comfortably just like my friends here, then I'll begin. Once upon a time there was a little girl who, whenever she left the house, wore a red cloak with a red hood. So everybody in her village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mum had a job for her. She needed her to go and visit Grandma. Grandma lived in the middle of the dark, deep woods. But Little Red Riding Hood had been there before. That wasn't a problem. She wasn't worried. But her mum needed her to carry a basket full of delicious treats for Grandma. There was cake, biscuits and fruit. But before she set off, her mum said, Little Red Riding Hood, don't leave the path and don't talk to any strangers. Just go straight to Grandma's. Little Red Riding Hood said, of course I'll do that. I won't go off the path. You can trust me. And off she set into the woods. And she hadn't been walking more than five minutes before she walked into the big bad wolf. <gasps> Oh no, not the big bad wolf. But you see, Little Red Riding Hood had no idea what a wolf was. She'd never met one before and she didn't know how much trouble he was going to be. Oh no. But Mr Wolf seemed quite friendly. Hello, Little Red Riding Hood, he said. How are you today? What have you got in that basket? And where? Are you going? Little Red Riding Hood looked at him and thought, hmm, he's very friendly. And she said, hello, I'm off to Grandma's. I got a basket full of treats just for her. Hmm, Grandma's, you say? Where is that? asked the wolf. And Little Red Riding Hood told him. She said it's in the middle of the big, deep, dark forest near where the big, strong oak trees grow. I'm sure you know exactly where I mean. And Mr Wolf thought about it for a minute. Hmm, he said. Oh yes, I'm walking that way. Can I walk with you for a bit? And Little Red Riding Hood nodded and off they went. And they walked for quite some time until the wolf, who had a cunning plan, said, to Little Red Riding Hood. Why don't you stop and go over there and pick some lovely flowers for Grandma? I'm sure she'd really, really like them. They were very, very pretty. Little Red Riding Hood thought about this for a minute and she thought, hmm, it is only just off the path, just a little bit. I'm sure that'll be fine. And he is right. They are really, really lovely flowers. Grandma would love them. And she said to the wolf, what a brilliant idea! I will do that straight away, thank you. But what Little Red Riding Hood hadn't noticed is that Mr Wolf was sneaking off. Because you see, Mr Wolf, mm, big, big trouble. Because he is the big, bad wolf. And he was very, very hungry. And he thought to himself, hmm, Little Red Riding Hood will make a lovely treat. The perfect snack. And his plan was to sneak to Grandma's house before Little Red Riding Hood. And then he could hide away and eat her up for a snack. Oh no! That's not a nice thing to do, is it? Let's see what happened. So Little Red Riding Hood had been ages picking flowers. In fact, she'd picked so many that she couldn't carry any more. So she thought to herself, hmm, time to get to Grandma. She'll be wondering where I am and I can't wait to show her these flowers. She's going to be so, so happy. So Little Red Riding Hood went back on the path and walked all the way to Grandma's. And she'd forgotten about Mr Wolf because she was so excited about the flowers. She got to Grandma's house and she knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock. And she waited and then all of a sudden she heard who is it 
through the door. And Little Red Riding Hood shouted, It's me, Grandma! And so Grandma shouted, Come in, dear! And so Little Red Riding Hood pushed on the door and in she went. She went all the way to the bedroom where Grandma was tucked up in bed. And Little Red Riding Hood thought, That's very odd. Grandma is usually up and busy and always doing. She never ever sleeps during the day. I hope she's okay. So in the bedroom she went and said, Hello, Grandma! But Grandma said nothing at all. So Little Red Riding Hood went a little bit closer to check she was okay. And at that point was when Little Red Riding Hood realised something wasn't quite right. She was a little bit worried. And so she said, Grandma, what big eyes you've got! And Grandma said back, All the better to see you with, my dear. Hmm. And Little Red Riding Hood said, oh, Okay, fair enough. But Grandma, what big ears you've got! And Grandma said, All the better to hear you with, my dear. Fair enough, again, thought Little Red Riding Hood. And then she noticed something else. But Grandma, what big teeth you've got! And it was at that point that Little Red Riding Hood knew who it was. It was not Grandma, but it was the big bad wolf. And he said, all the better to eat you with, and jumped out of the bed. <gasps> but Little Red Riding Hood had already run away, and she was running and shouting and shouting for help. And lucky for her, that very day, our very own PC Jasper, had gone for a walk in the woods and he heard her shouting for help and rushed in. He caught the big bad wolf and took him straight to the police station. He also talked to Little Red Riding Hood and explained to her why you do not talk to strangers. It's really not a good idea to go around talking to people that you don't know. And Little Red Riding Hood agreed. It had been a very strange day and it was all a little bit of a mess. But don't worry, I reckon you think I've forgotten all about Grandma. I haven't. PC Jasper found Grandma locked in a cupboard. <gasps> the big bad wolf had locked her in a cupboard. It's terrible. She was okay. She loved her biscuits and her cakes, especially her fruit. And she thought the flowers smelt lovely. And they all had a nice picnic. PC Jasper, Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed our take on Little Red Riding Hood today. And I'm going to leave you with this challenge from her. See if you can do it. See how many red things you can find around your house. Good luck. Bye!